Today's astrological breakdown, we're going to be breaking down Etamin. Not the donuts, the star, the left eye of the Draco constellation. So you guys know the drill. We're talking about the star's nature, its influences, its placement, its orb, and giving you the basic understanding of what it means to have this placed in your chart. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Moon Days with Michael. I'm your host, the Royal Triangle Michael, and I am cutting out the esoteric middleman and giving you the tools you need to connect yourself right to the source. Let's start off by talking about where you can find this donut star, the left eye of the Draco constellation. This star can be found in 2758 degrees of Sagittarius with an orb of 210. It has the natures of Saturn and Jupiter with a little bit of the Martian influence. Now the Saturn influence here is the important thing to understand with it being the left eye. Speaking of the donut company, you guys should leave your favorite Edibin donut in the comment section below. I like the crumble ones, powdered donuts with like the, the, the crumb things on top. Yeah, those ones are the best. Anyway, oh, and the pop-ums are good too, yo. Along with Ubin, this star was worshipped pretty heavily in around the 3500 BC. E mark or BC, if you're a sadist. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Now, even though Thuban was more prominent with it being the North Star position at the time, this star also had numerous temples made out to it, especially in Greece, the city of the dragon, not Greece, Jesus, in Thebes. The city of the dragon had its own little temple. People were doing its thing, worship in the Draco constellation. And as you can see, it didn't really get them very far since they're not around anymore. This star is kind of important in the Draco constellation and if I had had to say, is one of the three big main influencing stars of this constellation. The reason for that actually has to come down to its physical positioning of it being the left eye of Draco. Most people or most cultures have a theory or a belief that the left eye represents evil and the right eye represents good. With it being the left eye, you can imagine what kind of influences were summed up by this star's placement. Let's actually hop into its influences and this will help you understand its natures because it has a very strong Saturn influence. That is basically the main influence. It does have Jupiter and Mars mixed too, but Saturn, that's the real kicker here. So let's talk about it. So this influence is very prideful, very strong, very conservative, has a lot of solitude and lonely natures mixed into it. And this is more so of a consequence of it actually having the influence that it carries. The loneliness and solitude aspect that comes with this star isn't necessarily a influence, but it's more of a result of said influences. And the reason for this is that because this is the left eye and has a lot to do with the way that you see reality and the way that you want to carry out your mission, your vision, this can be kind of alienating and lead people to becoming lonely and very closed off. So with this having to do with the way you see reality, if people around you or other people you're with don't line up to that, this influence is very unyielding in the fact that it does not like to conform to the way that other people see reality. So this influence can be very stubborn, but because of it not being willing to conform to the way that other people see things and the way that other people want to do things, this can be kind of alienating and kind of leave you alone. This influence can still lead you to actually building and creating what you want, being able to experience the way that you actually see reality. And you can actually see this in a way that a lot of celebrities actually have Etamin as a placement. Here's a list of a few. So this influence can be used to create your reality or at least make it so that other people see you for a certain way. Obviously, if you want to look at like the celebrity aspect and see which celebrities have it as a placement where, you can go ahead and then see how they're using it to their benefit. This star can lead into the more unfortunate side. And this is just due to the crashing and burning of the solitude and the loneliness and the unwillingness to conform. So for some people, this may work out. For some people, they might have like a midlife crisis where they realize that everything they've done in the past was wrong and they shouldn't have gone through with what they went through with, and now they have to figure it out. I feel like I have to laugh to keep from crying. However, when you're trying to build your reality and experience the things that you want to experience, sometimes you just got to do it. And with it also being the brightest star in the Draco constellation, you can see how this is going to obviously draw a lot of attention to it as well as having a lot of people focusing on it, especially if they start doing some really cool things, they're starting to build things, trying to create their own reality and people can really look up to that, then cool. Which can actually be a very nice benefit to the star is actually having people look up to you and actually see the things that you've done and see the things that you've built and having all that attention. However, this usually happens after you get past the fact that this can bring loneliness and solitude to you, especially if you favor on the side of being unwilling to conform to certain things, which this star's influence can bring. However, if you are aware of that, then this can actually be a very beneficial placement to you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's recap real quick. Etamin, the brightest star in the Draco constellation, the 
the left eye of the dragon, can be found in 2758 degrees of Sagittarius with an orb of 210. Has the natures of Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars, trying to expand and actually work on being able to create your reality the way that you see it and being able to consciously experience what you want. However, if you're not careful, you can start alienating people, becoming too stubborn, or you can have a lot of people looking up to you and seeing the things that you have built for yourself or even showing other people how to build it. So you guys know the drill, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if there's any topics or other stars or constellations you guys want broken down because next time we're gonna be talking about Rastaban, the right eye of the Draco constellation. And until next time, fly high y'all.